So welcome guys, uh, what I want to use the first few seconds of this video to do is to test just to be sure that our login works very well. So I'm going to log out right now because in this video we're going to have to edit the login section of our app. So if your server is hanging like this, as you can see mine is hanging, it's just rotating but it won't open. It means um, the server is actually sleeping. So if you get back to the server, type any key on your keyboard, the server will wake up and we redirect as you can see it has woken up and it's redirecting and um page expired and blah 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 we're right here so i just want to log in just to be sure that login works so i'm just gonna enter this and hit enter and i've saved login works very well so i'm gonna log out and what we're going to do is to come to the login page and remove all this form and just make this button um, Facebook login button which means there's no need for forgot password too so to do that we're gonna go to the folder where Laravel keeps all the view files like all the files HTML files that you're seeing like this Laravel keeps them in a specific folder that Laravel calls resources look at it here then all the code like if you're coming from PHP all the PHP code that you ever need to write, Laravel keeps them in app PH, HTTP controllers. This is where Laravel keeps all the PHP um, code that you need to write. It separates them into different files, all right? So, but the HTML code uh, is in resources views. So, if I click in views, you see that it's arranging things in folders for me very neatly. Now, that login is found in auth. See, login.blade.php. Uh, normally, it, this should be like um, .php if you are coming from PHP, but in Laravel, Laravel mixes HTML with PHP and calls it Blade. It's called Blade Templating Engine. So, we are in login.blade.php. Now, we are going to start coding. Now, um, if you've built any Laravel app before, you already understand everything here. But if this is the first time you're coding Laravel, this might totally be confusing. So I want to just take a detour and explain to you how uh, Laravel, uh, uh, Laravel fixes its folders, you understand? Now, if you look at this uh, views, you see that there is two folders. You have auth folder, you have layouts folder, then you have two extra files. Now, in the layouts folder, what Laravel does is, you see this top bar is in a layouts folder, and of course the bottom tool is in the layouts folder, a layouts file. Uh, but then the rest of the content you'll find them in different files so this top and the bottom is in a file inside layers called app.blade so let me look let me show you through yeah remember that this is i know this will be familiar to you you have html you have the start of your html the end so if you are trying to import a template css html whatever template this is where to paste the contents of that template you understand now, so this is the head section. If you wanted to import a CSS file, whatever, this is the head section. If you want to import a JavaScript file, maybe you have to scroll down. And at this point, this is where you see the JavaScript, uh, where you import your JavaScript files, okay? Now we're back. Now, uh, this is the start of the body, and this is the end uh, of the body section. But in between that, we're seeing a navigation, see? Uh, from ID, this ID app, till the bottom where you have on this uh, this is the navigation uh, sorry not from the ID app from the nav so this nav is the top oops this nav is the top that we're seeing here so which means if we go into the nav we'll see this button app code so let's get back into the nav and we're looking at uh, the name of the app look at uh, Laravel is getting the app name see config app name voting app you see now um, if we go to our M file we'll see that at the top here we named it voting app you see so Laravel is fetching this and adding it to our resources views app the blade so which means if we don't want this we can just um, remove this and call it anything we can say anything refresh 
keep your eye here you see it's now anything okay so you can do it manually or you just allow Laravel to do it so you can change it from your oops That was a hell of a distraction. So we're gonna have to go to um, login, auth login, the blade, and uh, we're we're going to look at the page that has this login because if you look at this login, you will see that that's what is here login, and then we just want to hide this everything here except the login button. So we're just gonna going to we're just going to go down and uh, get the login button um i'm just gonna call it this so now we have this everything in this form will be hidden but let me just start here everything in this form is hidden or delete okay so we've deleted everything so the form now has this csrf and this login so we delete the uh, forgot password and this is good now the next thing we're going to do is to go to our laravel documentation and um, continue the installation of the solar social lights we're just going to round up the installation we've pasted these two and it's giving us a route to create so i'll copy these two routes and we'll paste it in our route file now you can read down to see other things you can do with social lights especially with api but uh, we're not concerned with that now we can uh we have to go to routes resources then you have um routes you have web now the reason uh the way laravel works is that you don't just put html uh, ahref tags or anchor tags just like that you understand uh for each anchor tag you have for instance in login controller in login.blade so for each anchor tag you have it has to relate to a route that has been created for instance this one now this form is heading to a route that was created called login so you this web.php file in in routes folder this web.php file is where you define all the routes in your application in laravel so if we go to laravel right now um, this is where we define all the routes so that's why we pasted this so i'm just gonna call this facebook login and uh, we're going to call this facebook Facebook auth control okay so this basically sorts it out for this video in the next video we'll continue to where we will have to create the Facebook login here all right